In the race to meet aggressive climate goals, speed is everything. Enter Energy Sprong, a revolutionary Dutch method transforming existing inefficient buildings with lightning fast, tenant in place work, minimizing disruption and maximizing efficiency. By using prefabricated elements and advanced planning, projects that would typically take months or years can be completed in just weeks, all while drastically reducing energy consumption and improving comfort. In Cologne, Klaus and Michael took on the seemingly impossible, completing a rigorous retrofit pilot project in just two months. But when time is your biggest enemy, the details can be equally daunting. How did they make it happen? And what do the tenants have to say about this innovative approach? The idea of energy sprung just persuaded us um, to, to, to follow the idea how can we achieve passive house standard um, by transforming buildings with the people inside in passive house standard. This is um, kind of um, central idea of Energiesprung. There was quite a lot of money from the European um, community to subsidize uh, the coast because it's kind of pilot project. Mm -hmm. And um, my partner Michael and me, we were in this moment, we said, yes, we do that. Even if it was a really high challenge, cause there was not so many time left. We had one and a half year from the first day they talked to us to finish the project. So if we want to get um, in 2045 climate neutral, mm -hmm. we have to do about between four and 5% of all the buildings we have to retrofit uh, a year yeah. and we are doing about one person now and we don't know what is clima neutral so the problems are so big that we said um, if we have the chance to work on this um, pilot project and to help to find solutions how to get there we will do it. Jörg from Stein at his company he did the technical side and the biophysic uh, and it's energy calculations mm -hmm. and we did all the architectural side. We started in March with the pre things and um, we had about, I think about two months with the panels and the roof. And then the post thing started like doing the surrounding and all that stuff. I think June, July was the facade without the outer shell, just the panels. Right. Then two weeks for the roof, about that. I think about three months for the the envelope, mm -hmm. but one and a half or two months before with the, the sawing of the, the balconies and all the pre-fabrication stuff and another two months after and then half a year the problems to solve, little problems. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. We think that uh, the panel construction today is still a bit too massive perhaps because um, as it is familiar or similar to a wood building you may ask um, could it, couldn't it be lighter and less material so this is with um, construction wood massive construction wood the okay. panels and um, we are just doing another one um, on the other side of the Rhine we take these um, FGI um, beams which are very very fine and two pieces of wood at the ends. And more room for insulation then? More room for insulation, less material inside, uh -huh. lighter to transport it. Uh -huh. yeah. And we do it always in two layers. Uh, one layer is the project and our responsibility that this project will be uh, will have a positive result and that it will be economically okay and it will be okay for the people living in it. And the second layer is um, how can we do it better than last one to get this idea to fly. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. So and um, time is one thing. For example, these um, aluminium shields, panels, um, they were too slow. We like them, aesthetically we like them, but uh, they are all done right here. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. And um, oh, they did it nice, but they did it slowly. Mm -hmm. So next time we take uh, something different to be faster. Mm -hmm. Energy Sprung sounds like an excellent, if not challenging, approach to building. But I wanted to learn what the tenants had to say about this revolutionary approach. Wie, wie fühlt sich das an, hier zu wohnen? Also vor, im Gegensatz zum vorherigen. Also hier, ja, viel schöner, schon alleine. So she feels very, very comfortable, especially when the weather gets a little bit bad. Instead of opening the windows, there's just a whole ventilation system and feels very comfortable. Waren das meistens, also war das schwierig, weil die Fenster rausgenommen wurden oder wurde da auch viel hier innerhalb der, der nee, Wohnung? Der so it wasn't just the windows, it was basically the main issue for, you know, occupants staying in the apartment was the ventilation system. Because although maybe a lot of it came, you know, with the facade, it still had to be brought into each apartment and into each room, basically. So they had to uh, suspend the ceiling. There used to be a wooden ceiling here. So they basically uh, ripped it all out and they you know, basically had to thread all the, the duct work into each of the rooms. Yeah, yeah. So the other issue was that they, um, how to deal with the old radiators, mm -hmm. because they basically ripped them all out. And then they had to fix the floors, and that, that was kind of a bigger deal, because they, they weren't going to redo everything. So then they had to figure out how to deal with these, you know, about a foot of flooring that needed to be replaced in one way or the other. Wo kommt jetzt die, wo sind die Heizungskörper jetzt? So now they have much more efficient, much smaller radiators. So the old ones got taken out because they're a gas and now the new ones um, were brought in, but they, they're just a different size. So, you know, everything around it had to be fixed. And you can only do that from the inside of the apartment. And so she said it's, it's all good because, you know, she feels very comfortable here and it's all, you know, great. So after hearing some of the occupants feedback, we had a chance to discuss lessons learned with the architect and talk about how the process could be improved in the future. Uh, my, name is... my name is Michael Kulmel. I am the partner of uh, Klaus Zeller in our office, Zeller and Kulmel. Our firm has 20 architects and we specialize in all energy efficient projects. And congratulations, because you got your Passive House certification yeah. plaque. Thank so you very much. Very impressive. I mean, the whole project is very impressive because it's a energy sprung retrofit. And I understand it was a big challenge because yeah. you weren't the first firm that was actually involved. So mm -hmm. you came in later and basically had to deal with what was there. So some of the feedback that we received from one of the occupants was that it was a little hard to deal with the construction timing mm -hmm. because the, the idea of energy sprung is that occupants stay in place while they're, the construction is, is going on. Everything's supposed to come from the outside. And I guess maybe there was a little bit of a different expectation that occupants had, but for some reason she felt like it was a little longer than what she expected. Yeah. So what is your response to that? Yeah, I can good understand the belastung war hoch. It's, it's very well understood that it's it's definitely a um it's hard for the occupants and it was a pilot project, so it definitely wasn't as smooth as it should have or could have gone. So um I guess there is quite a bit of improvement that can be done in that direction, but the idea of, or the alternative of moving out for so many months at a time, I guess so be the alternative of actually having to move out for so many months instead of staying in place, which which is the idea of energy surround, um, is probably way harder on the occupant because they basically have to take, they have to move all their, their um, furniture, everything has to be loud. So in this case, yes, it's, it's quite a bit of an inconvenience for a certain amount of time, but at least everything can basically stay in place. So that's, that's very understandable. And since it was a pilot project, 
you know, there wasn't a relationship with a lot of the subcontractors yet. So that's definitely something that needs to be improved in the future. And talking about staying in place, I think something that is you don't really think about is that if the occupants stay in place, the furniture stays in place too. So if you plan on just having a, an apartment to work with, there's, there might be furniture in the way, right? So we talked about, um, with the occupant, we talked about her being there when the tradespeople arrived and they wanted to, to route the, 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 the ventilation ducting a certain mm -hmm. way, but she had built-in furniture on the wall that that was supposed to happen. So she was there and basically directed them differently. So it's quite an interesting interaction that the architect has no like <laughs> you can't possibly plan for that right and you don't necessarily get a phone call every every time an occupant might want to change something so that that was a really interesting point that i never really thought about So we definitely got feedback during construction that the routing of the ventilation was an issue, but as, as an architect, you can't possibly develop a different strategy for 16 different um, apartments. Um, and we realized it was a challenge, so we'd been thinking about different strategies. And in the next project, we're thinking about supplying air through the hallways and staircases so that most of the work is taking place there rather than in the units. This means their furniture and things will be affected, so it should work a little bit better. So overall, the feedback is definitely, I mean, even, even with the occupant, the feedback was very positive in mm. general, like living there now, it's yeah. very comfortable and the fresh air mm. is good. So overall, I think everyone is, is happy. Yeah. Um, and what you're just saying is that for you, it was a successful project too, that you kind of uh, stepped in and had to finish really, really quickly. So, um, and as a pilot, project that was a little bit of a double challenge that that also had to happen in a yeah. really short amount of time and um, now it being done I mean first of all it looks beautiful <laughs> thank you very much it, it's it's very yeah definitely a big improvement on the uh, on the design side but also the performance so the calculation was that it was going to be basically a zero uh, net zero project net zero energy project and now the project is actually produ producing 20 percent more than it, it's using so overall very very successful and a lot that everyone has learned that can be applied to the next project yeah.